Here is a sample probability calculation from a pedigree showing autosomal recessive inheritance. So the question states, Zena is pregnant with her first child. Her paternal grandmother's sister had Tay-Sachs disease. Her partner, Mark's paternal uncle, also had Tay-Sachs disease. What is the probability that their child will have Tay-Sachs? So let's start drawing our pedigree and we will start with Zena. Zena is shown in a circle and her partner, Mark, is shown in a square. And Zena is pregnant. We do not know the sex of the child, so we draw a diamond. These are Zena's parents. And the question states that her paternal grandmother's sister had Tay-Sachs. So this here is her paternal grandma. And we need to draw the grandmother's sister. The grandmother's sister is shaded because they are affected with the trait. And let's draw their parents. Now let's jump over to Mark's side. This, um, these are Mark's parents. And it says Mark's paternal uncle also had Tay-Sachs. And so that means his dad's brother. The paternal uncle is also shown as shaded in because he's affected with the trait. And we will show their parents. So let's remember that Tay-Sachs is autosomal recessive. We can go ahead and label the genotypes. It's labeled as little a, little a for someone who is affected. And let's go ahead and label the parents of those infected individuals. We know that the parents must be carriers in order to have a child that is affected with an autosomal recessive trait. So what will our equation look like? Well, in order for the child to have Tay-Sachs disease, they'd have to have the genotype of little a, little a. So we break out this probability by calculating the probability they got a little a from mom times the probability they got a little a from dad. So let's start on the mom side. How many transmission events do we have to include in our calculation? There are four. So we draw four squares there to make sure we don't miss any fractions to bring into our equation. And we know that all of these things have to happen, so we multiply them together. So let's start up here with that paternal grandma. What is the chance that paternal grandma is a carrier? What is the chance that little a went from her parents to her? So we can draw a Punnett square for this. And let's just pull down these genotypes and break them out into gametes on our Punnett square. So if we fill in the Punnett square, it looks like this. And we are interested in the chance that she is a carrier. Now, in any fertilization event between these two parents, the chance that the offspring is a carrier is two out of four. But that's if you don't know anything about that offspring. For the paternal grandma, we know something about her. We know that she is not affected. And so we set a limit. We remove the little a, little a from the possibilities. So there aren't four possibilities. There's only three. So the denominator now becomes three. That paternal grandma has a two out of three chance of being a carrier. So this transmission event, the chance of that is two out of three. And we pull that into our first square of our equation. Now going from the paternal grandma here to Zena's father, that has a half chance because we're diploid. If she's a carrier, either the big A or the little A will pass on. It's one out of two. We transfer that down. From Zena's father to Zena, it's also one half chance. And from Zena to the child, it's one half chance. So that's the probability equation that the child got a little a from mom. Now let's jump to the dad's side. There are three transmission events going from this generation down to Mark's father, to Mark, and then Mark passing it to the child. So we need three squares that we're going to fit our equations in. They all have to happen. So we have a time sign in between, and we're gonna times that to the probability we got A from mom. So let's start for the first step up here. Now this is the same scenario that we used for the paternal grandma, so we can look at the Punnett square. 
Mark's father has a two out of three chance of being a carrier. The chance that he passed something down to Mark, it's autosomal, one out of two. And the chance that Mark passed that down to the offspring is also one out of two. And if we calculate this all out, the final answer is one out of 72.